First, notice the Register Online selection that is available from your site's home page. This selection will appear whenever you have a current registration that is available and visible to the public. Once selected, the user will be brought to the online registration home page. This page will display a brief description of all registration programs that are currently open and visible to the public. The user will select which registration program they wish to register for by clicking the Begin Registration button within each description box. After the registration has been selected, the user will be presented with a brief description of the registration's restrictions. Next, the user will be able to log into the registration system using their email address and password. Notice the instructions on this page for New Users Existing Users and users that may have forgotten their password. Once logged in, existing members will be presented with their family screen. This screen will display each member of their family along with their status. Family members that qualify for the selected registration will be displayed with the register button next to their name. Users should click this register button for the family member that they wish to register. Family members that do not qualify for the program based on age, grade, or gender restrictions will be displayed as ineligible. For new users, if the program is open to children 18 years of age or younger, they will be prompted to enter the guardian information for the registrant. They will also have the opportunity to add a second guardian at the bottom of the page. Once the guardian information has been entered, the user will then be prompted to enter the participant's information. This information will be pre-filled with all of the guardian's information with the exception of first name, gender, date of birth, and school grade. Once the participant's information has been completed, the user will be presented with the supplemental question form. On this form, they can answer any additional questions that may have been created for this registration. Once the user has submitted the registration supplemental forms, they will be presented with the registration review page. If the registration program has been set up to accept electronic payments, the user can then complete the registration process by clicking the Pay Now button shown here. If the registration has been set up to accept check payments, the mailing address for where to send checks will also be displayed on this page. Users can also select to register another family member. If the user selects Pay Now, they will be directed to our Secure Payment Information form. Here, they will be able to enter their credit card information and pay for any outstanding balance on their account. It is important to note that our credit card information form and shopping cart are PCI DSS compliant and that at no time is credit card information ever stored on League Athletics servers.